Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. My name is Pinapple and today I'm doing a mid-century modern inspired apartment build. So if you're interested in this build, you can download it off the gallery. My origin ID is PinappleYT and it will be in, um, I think under kitchen or whatever, but you can just like search for my name and it'll find it and it'll be fine. <laughs> but yeah, so right now I am just sort of picking out the color scheme. And so I kind of already knew what direction I wanted to go in because I actually built a mid-century modern studio apartment, but it was just so small and it was at the lowest height the walls and so it just I I didn't I didn't like it I didn't like it so I kind of scrapped it and then went like whole hog and did this like huge gorgeous apartment and I'm very proud of it now um, it is a two bedroom two bathroom and it features a laundry room and a den uh, kind of like a, I, I guess a man cave I, 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 I hate even saying that term I really do I dislike I dislike the I, the concept of a man cave it, yes, anyways, moving on, moving on. We'll just pretend I didn't say those words. Uh, <laughs> it's about 80,000 um, simoleons. Uh, yeah, although I really have no idea how the apartments work still with the money thing. I don't know. I honestly, I, if, I, if I sat down, if I sat down and like looked at it and thought about it, I could probably figure it out, but I don't, I don't have time for that. <laughs> um, but yeah, so right now I'm just doing the basic layout. Um, this is where the washing room is going to be, and I'm super proud of this um, washing room. I know people have made them before in a similar technique, but I just, I had a lot of fun doing it. Um, if this, this will be dated soon, but right now the Sims team is sort of making a collaborative stuff pack with the community. And so, you know, people voted um, on the different sort of themes they'd want. And so I think I, I've, I definitely voted for the eco living stuff pack first, mostly because I want laundry, like on it, like period. Like I think eco stuff pack could also be cool. Like, you know, but I, I want laundry. <laughs> like I, I don't want laundry in real life. I have laundry in real life that I need to do, but I, I, I don't want laundry. Um, but right here you can see, I'm trying to make the laundry machine. And I kind of thought this like Thing with the it's like supposed to be olive oil bottles I kind of thought that looked like little handles for like an old-timey washing machine but I ended up just using an oven instead which looked even more realistic and I'm really proud of it um, I haven't checked to see if the ovens are functional I don't think they would be um, but yeah so I didn't test this apartment at all I probably should have probably should have um, but those are like little light like pool lights and I flipped them backwards and I thought they looked really good that way But I I couldn't they had to be in the middle because otherwise they kept snapping to the walls um, But yeah, so they think the next one I voted for was I think the um, Starter stuff pack. I was actually quite interested in that um, And then I voted for the wedding stuff pack and then I voted for the whole death stuff pack thing and then I voted for Arcade Last just because it seems like the most limited. And like a lot of people have been saying, it probably should have been included in the bowling stuff pack, which is what this features. <laughs> Bringing it back around. So the bowling stuff pack. I, oh, mm, hmm, yes, I, mm. So this has been mentioned before. I don't personally like bowling for a multitude of reasons, mostly because I'm petty and I'm not good at it. But I also just on my own personal level find it to be a bit boring and repetitive. And I also got that feeling from the actual bowling object in game. So I'm probably never going to use that ever again. I'm probably never going to take my Sims to a bowling alley because it was just kind of it didn't really work. And it was just not my thing. And if you like it, that's great. I am super duper happy for you. I just personally was like, no pass but i really liked um the mid-century modern themed furniture in this i thought that was really great i really wish we'd gotten a bed i mean i always want more beds in the sims i either that or i really hope one day they will come with a base game update of the beds and add more to the beds because i really want the beds to be more unique i don't know why i was saying it like that but i i kind of i said this i, I don't know if i've said this particular phrasing before but I like everything about the bowling stuff pack except for the bowling slash bowling themed objects. So if it has a bowling ball or a bowling pin on it, I don't like it. But everything else is fine. 
<laughs> yeah, so, you know, there's that. There, you know, there's that. But I did have fun building sort of a mid-century modern inspired place. It was, of course, inspired because I didn't want to, like... I wanted there to be, like, computers and, like, televisions and fancy butt fireplaces and, that, you know, that sort of thing. But the sort of color scheme and, um, you know, like, actual furniture picks, I think, are more sort of that style. So here I start to have a lot of difficulty um, sorting out the living room because that three-seater couch is actually wider than I think most, if not all, of the other three-seater couches. And so this layout was just really tight and I didn't like it. And so I ended up actually moving the kitchen back one square and that really helped. But it took me a while to sort of figure out that that's what I wanted to do. Um, like you can see here, I'm kind of messing around with stuff, trying to see if I can make it work. And like, I even tried, I think, to change the, the floor pan in the back. I don't know if I cut that out or not. I think I might have, but oh gosh. Here, we're gonna lead into my other rant. And this rant, I've heard this from other people too, but I, I, mm, I, mm, I can't, I can't with the Sims team giving us furniture that doesn't come in matching sets. I don't get it. I don't get it. The base game had matching set furniture, and by that I mean they had a love seat, a three seater, and an armchair that all matched. All matched. But ever since then, almost every single pack has not matching furniture, and I don't get it. It's unrealistic, it's dumb, it would be easy to make. I've seen modders make it, like, I'm just kind of like, oh, ah, uh. <laughs> It is really frustrating to me as a builder, and like, yes, I know it's a video game, but I'm just like, it, I'm kind of at my wit's end with them not making complete furniture sets. It's just that frustrating to me that because it seems like it, it should be it should be just such a simple thing to do to make matching furniture sets like they've already sort of laid out the long version they just need to make it shorter or they've already laid out the short version they just need to make it longer and I don't get it if a sims team member could explain it to me I would love that I highly doubt that I would approve of your explanation but like I don't get why they wouldn't make complete matching sets like, ah, <laughs> sorry, but that's my rant. I like almost cried, um, but you know me, I have anxiety and I can be over emotional at times. So, you know, but it just, it is really frustrating to me and I don't understand it. Anyways, anyways, let's just move on from me like chanting. I don't understand it over and over again uh, because <laughs> yeah. But anyways, I really like what I did with the coffee tables there. I thought they, the, those went really well together and it made a bigger coffee table without sort of, I, you know, I really think it's cool when people overlay the coffee tables, you know, like make a, would it be an octagon, I think? I think that's the shape that they make. Um, but the only thing is I can't stand the clipping um, or sort of like overlaid textures in the game. Like it drives me crazy. I can't do it. Like... If it changes appearance when you change camera, I can't do it. Like, it drives me crazy. And so, like, I almost never use that trick for that reason. But this time, I thought it really worked because I could bring one up so the textures weren't overlapping. I also was able to overlap some of the countertops without them sort of, like, you know, giving that weird sort of texture um, look, so that's good. If I had changed the colors of them, then you would definitely see it. Also here, I found every single plant in the game that makes everything around it, including itself, darker. And I don't really know why that's a glitch. I've uh, mentioned it before, and I've also mentioned in my sort of, um, New Leaf Daycare build, there's a fence where the fence, um, gate didn't match the rest of the fences, and they actually fi fi fixed that in a patch. So I'm hoping one day they will fix those um, furniture things or those um, plant things because like I would really like them. Um, but I really love what I did with the divider here. I thought that was really cute and I was really proud of it. Um, yeah, so here I'm finally getting into the laundry room, my favorite part. I have actually uploaded just this laundry room by itself um, onto the gallery just because I thought a lot of people would be really interested in it. And I'm just really proud of myself for making it really look like there's, like, laundry going on. Like, I use, um, 
this thing to make it kind of look like almost somebody's hanging up a sheet to dry. And I use the, um, I don't really know what to call them. They're sort of like metal pieces from the um, get to work pack. And they almost kind of look like the sort of bars in the um, accessible bathrooms. Um, and I've used them as that before. Um, but yeah, so I used these things and then I hung towels over them to make it look like, you know, there are towels hanging up to dry. And I just had a blast doing this and it was, oh my goodness, I couldn't. Like, I thought this would be a really good build to do this for just because that time period kind of saw the introduction of what, like washing machines, laundry machines, like in the household. Um, so yeah, the bathroom's pretty uninspired. I kind of, mm, I've, I keep, I keep losing steam with bathrooms and I'm just kind of like, oh well, oh well, um, but yeah, and I, I did, for this build, I did definitely go with, I really played around with the walls and the coloring of them, and so, um, like, lots of walls, like, have different colored walls next to them, and I thought that was, I was really fun, and the original build I did, it, like, no wall had one color. It was really interesting, and so I, I, I think I might put that up on the gallery, but I don't, I'm not going to do a speed build of it just because this is, I think, good enough. Yes, I think it is. Um, but yeah, so um, here I'm working on the kitchen. I almost forgot to put in a fridge again. Um, <laughs> a couple of you guys pointed that out in the last build. And if you hadn't, I would have gone the rest of my life not realizing that there wasn't a fridge in my townhouse build. Um, so you know, that's the thing. Um, oh, and this week, um, another person, it, this week will be Colorful Sims. She will be building the next part of the townhouse build. So please go check that out. Um, it, I think it should be releasing on the day I release this. So yeah, definitely go check this out. If you have to stop midway through this video to do so, I encourage you, go ahead, go check it out. I'm excited. <laughs> Anyways, um, gosh, but yeah, I forgot the fridge and... But I figure there are going to be five other houses on that lot. And so there's going to be at least one fridge. Somebody somewhere is going to put in a fridge and it'll all be okay. <laughs> I just totally forgot. Like, I don't even know. Like, I just, it slipped my mind. I mean, I often come close to forgetting a sink, but not usually a fridge. But I included it in this build. I almost forgot though. I almost did. Um... But here I'm working on the kids room and I kind of imagine this as being a twins room. This isn't my best kids room. I think I kind of like restricted myself with my own color scheme. Um, and the layout's a bit weird, but I, I, think it, I think it turned out cute enough in the end. Um, yeah, it's not my favorite though. Definitely not. Like I didn't, I shot like a little bit of footage for it in the intro, but then I was just like, nah. Nah, I shoot a lot of footage for the intro actually. I tend to shoot about six minutes um, worth of stuff for a 30 second intro. So I don't use a lot of it. Um, and it usually takes me about like 10 to 15, no, probably 15 to 30 minutes to shoot the six minutes of stuff because I'm having to set up camera angles and make sure it doesn't, you know, look funny and like. Sometimes if you like set up your camera position in the middle of the wall, the whole camera will go wonky and like the whole screen will start spinning and it's like really nauseating and like, oh God, what's happening? Um, but yeah, so here is where I really wish they had included some, you know, bedroom stuff like in this. I mean, I realize it's like a bowling pack and like bowling bedroom, but like, you know, I mean, I feel like it doesn't have to 100% make sense. Like I get that it's a bowling stuff pack, but it's also a mid-century modern stuff pack. And so I don't understand why they wouldn't give us a full furniture set, especially because they haven't done furniture set stuff packs, which is also weird to me. They, they did that in the past with their, with their stuff packs, but I don't know. I think it would be nice if they did more furniture themed stuff packs. Um, but anyway, so it, I, I think it also would have been nice, the bed I did use, it would have been nice to have received some updated colors for that because I was, you know, thinking about it and the base game beds never have more than, I think, like what, 16 colors? Like, that's so limited. Like, some of them don't have more than four, some of them don't have more than three colors. There is a bed in the game and it is a, like, you know, a, an unlockable object, so it's a little bit forgivable, but it only has three 
color options, and I don't get it. I don't get it. <laughs> There's a lot about The Sims team I don't get. Like, yeah, I've actually been kind of tempted in the past to make a video that's like, 10 things I hate about The Sims 4. But I, because I, I firmly believe in critiquing things even if you love them. Um, I think that's important, especially I think it's really important for like media that's consumable. Like there's a lot of like shows and stuff out there that I really like, but they can be like racist or sexist and just like not okay. And so like I think it's important to recognize that you can enjoy a show and like rec like as long as you recognize that there are areas of it that are problematic. Um, and so I feel that way kind of about The Sims team. There are actually a couple things I find a bit problematic about The Sims, like, game. But mostly it's just I find stuff that frustrates me and that, not that it's, like, problematic or anything. But, <laughs> so I've been tempted to do that, but I also just feel like people will tell me I'm a whiner, and I am. I am a complainer. <laughs> I was talking to somebody at work, and I was like, I am a complainer. And she's like, no, you don't complain. You smile too much to be a complainer. And I'm like... I can complain and smile at the same time, I promise you. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I'm a little, I wish I hadn't gone with that like calendar with like the stickers and stuff on the wall there. I think it, it wasn't, it didn't quite fit the theme of the apartment. Like I was kind of like, oh, children live here, you know, they might have that. But in the end, I thought it just kind of disrupted the sort of sleek look. And I think it would have fit in the children's room, but I didn't think that it fit in the kitchen. So, you know. There's that, but here I'm doing the dining room and I sort of, I love what I did with the lamps. I made the shortest one like bigger and then I added the longer one and another regular short one. Um, yeah, I kind of went overboard with the lamps in this um, and the lighting. I don't know why, I think maybe because this apartment is dark, but I ended up taking out like half of the overhead lighting before I added it to the gallery just because it looked... Well, one, it was kind of ridiculous. You don't need that much lighting. And two, the gallery picture looked cluttered. Like the apartment, you know, like rooms always look cluttered because that's just kind of the nature of them. But yeah. <laughs> so here is the den, which I really, really like. Um, it, I wish I could have fit more in it, um, but there just wasn't enough room. But I fit in like a little bit of a a desk place with a whole bunch of storage and there's like a little sofa thing and they have the, the little globe bar and I have the pool or not pool that's not pool darts yes <laughs> yes pool pool is the same as darts and if you heard that crack that was actually my foot so you know that's attractive um I don't know if you I can never I can never tell what you guys are gonna hear like Sometimes I'm like, oh, wow, that was so silent. I don't know how my mic picked up on that. And other times I'm like, wow, I thought the earth was breaking with that noise, but apparently my mic didn't. Um, it usually picks up my voice pretty well, though. Um, but yeah, I'm kind of just like rambling at this point. But um, I did really like um, like this little lampy thing. I thought that was so cute. I wish I, I wish I had used it more, but I tend not to use like lamps like table lamps uh, desk lamps in game because I don't really use them in real life um I'm like overhead lighting all the way like I, I don't have a single like floor lamp in my apartment nope we had we had some in my parents house but not in my apartment um I, I think I've lived with people who have had them before <laughs> I don't know something about it um but I really wanted to use that painting because I love it but I just couldn't find a spot for it. So instead I used this clock and I did this really cool thing where I overlaid, I, I overlaid it over some mirrors and I think it looks so cool. And I was like, oh yeah, look at that. Look at how cool you are. Look at how like creative. And then I didn't realize, but if you put down the walls, it like the, the smaller pieces like clip through the mirrors and it looks really weird. But I already like finished the build and I was like, oh, well, so the majority of people play with like um, half walls or not necessarily half walls, but like cutaway views, I think the term. So it will look weird in both cutaway and no wall view. But if you play with walls up, then it'll be fine. <laughs> I, I tend to build with walls up, which makes for awkward angles, I think, when filming. But it's just it's difficult for me to sort of get like uh it's difficult for me to build with like um 
cutaway walls or walls um, down just because it's hard for me to get kind of like a feel of the layout when I don't have the walls in place. Um, but yeah, so here is the bedroom and I had a lot of trouble with the color scheme in this, partially because of the beds not really matching. Um, but yeah, also because the, the rugs that came with this, like I like them. I like the rugs. Well, I, I only really like this sort of pattern of the rugs. I don't really like this sort of really cluttered geometric one. And I definitely don't like the, the one with the bowling balls and the, the bowling pins. Um, <laughs> but um, I really only like that one. And it doesn't really actually go with the colors presented in the pack. Like it has, you know, some of them, but it also adds in kind of new ones that sort of throw you through like for a loop. Like there's navy in that. And so... But anyways, I made it work and I thought it looked really cool. I really liked this sort of, like, I went crazy with the shelving units here. Um, and I wish I could have, like, turned them into seats, but that's okay. That's okay. I think it works out. So I think at about this point, I'm almost done with the build. I'm mostly adding finishing touches. Um, I do add in these sort of light strips that, oh, what did those come with? Oh, I think they came with Dine Out. Um, also, I love how I put those paintings there uh, over the bed. Like, I love it. I love it so much. Um, but here I added in this little, like, side table. And I, if you, <laughs> if you actually look at that from a certain angle, it clips through the back, which I don't really understand why, but it does. So I'm sorry about that. Um, but I also really liked adding the little plant there. I thought it looked really cute. Um, but yeah, like I said, finishing touches. Um, what was I going to talk The light strips from Dine Out, I added them to the, sort of on either side of the fireplace. I thought it really sort of completed the look because that area is a bit wood heavy. And so I thought it was a good like accentuating piece and sort of distracts from the amount of wood that is in that area. Cause it's a lot. Cause like, I really like the wood paneling and I am glad I used as much as I did because it fits that time period, but it's a lot of wood. Oh my goodness, that kind of sounds bad. <laughs> That's a lot of wood. Okay, well, let's, let's move on. Keeping this a family-friendly channel, kind of. I don't know. Like, I my, honestly, my goal is PG-13 with this channel, but sometimes it's hard. Like, in my last vampire, 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 in my last vampire um, big sister challenge, I, like, just dropped the F-bomb. I don't even know. I, like, bleeped it out. But, if, like, I was just like, whoa there. Like rain it in this isn't real life this is youtube but <laughs> oh my goodness anyways i am coming up on the end of this build i hope that you guys enjoyed it if you did feel free to give me a like a comment and subscribe don't forget to check out um more of the townhouse collab builds they are all going to be super awesome if you're seeing this in the future i can assure you that i am psychic and i know for a fact that they will all be super awesome because all the people who are building them are super awesome but <laughs> Oh my goodness. I like, I always jump the gun on the outros because now we have like 30 seconds left and now I don't know what to talk about because I like promoted myself, I promoted my friends and now I'm just kind of awkwardly talking. So, you know, that's the thing. But the, the background, the city living background looks really nice. Oh, I know what to talk about. Watch this. This is fun. I, this is a joke. This is a joke. I know. I hope I don't offend anybody. It's just a joke. But yeah, I hope you guys are all having a great day and I will see you guys next time. Bye. That's a bowling pin in a trash can, by the way. Bye.